So how did you come in the rain? It's raining quite yeah, heavily. Yes. And uh, was there lightning also? Not really. Not Yesterday really. night at night I did so. So you saw you yeah. saw lightning? Yeah. Oh, there I was see. Some. I see there was some lightning in the sky, but was it nearby or very far off? Very far. Very far. That some places have more lightning. Okay. Than in other places. Some places are like you know geographically more prone to a yeah. lot of lightning. Very much and possible. Lightning, yes. The geographical conditions that attract lightning depend on ground elevation, latitude, prevailing wind currents, relative humidity, proximity to warm and cold bodies of water, etc. In fact, you know, there have been so many uh, deaths this year in uh, some parts of Bihar okay. and maybe some other places also where people uh, died of lightning, mm-hmm. which, is, which is something which can be very easily avoided. Right, right. Isn't it? Right. So, there are some precautions that one should take. Yeah, because I, as far as I know, um, uh, lightning always seeks the shortest route. So, mm. if you are, let's say, in a, some outdoor setting mm. and the lightning, the weather just gets worse and it's it's about to strike you, no. Know, you need to make yourself the smallest target. Squat low on the ground or maybe find a shelter. Do something because if you are just out and open, the chances of you getting struck is very high. It's because very high. lightning is actually wanting to strike, go right down to the yes, earth. It wants to it's conduct. It wants to just conduct to go to the earth. earth. Correct. It's seeking a path. Yeah. For it to go. So exactly. When the charge is too heavy yeah. in the clouds, yeah. then we have lightning. Yes. The the air gets ionized because of this charging, mm-hmm. charging, and that needs to get discharged. Oh. And it is this discharge what we understand that, as that lightning. As lightning, because we see that flash of exactly. light, light and Correct. then also the thunder that we hear. Correct. Correct. And then it is seeking a path. Correct. There is high charge in the clouds created by movement and friction between ice molecules in cold air and water molecules in hot air. This causes electric potential of the order of a million volts. This can ionize the air and result in electric discharge which can be cloud to cloud or cloud to earth. When there is a positive charge build up on the ground around trees, poles, buildings and even animals or people, then the discharge takes place with objects on earth and we see lightning strikes on ground. Therefore, obviously, when lightning strikes, it chooses the point where the electric field is the maximum. And this happens typically over tall trees, buildings, etc. Sharp objects also create increased electric fields. Therefore, lightning rods have sharp spikes at the top. So, if it is a high point, and it should, it's also looking for a good conductor. Yeah, always. It's also Easier and shorter road it seems, always. always. Yes. And a good conductor through which it can pass because it is actually a form of electricity. Correct. That is why lightning conductors are all just metal rods. Are all metal think, rods, yes. Think, so yeah. we have that safety rod we have on the high buildings and the monuments that you want to protect, that Correct. you don't want it uh, to catch the track, the lightning. Correct. So we have this steel strip that goes right down. So it you provide a passage. It offers a passage. passage. Provide it offers, a, passage. offers a passage. But otherwise, the precautions that people should to- take and uh, for which there should be much more awareness, especially in places which are prone to a lot of lightning, are that uh, you sh- you should make yourself, as you said, you should make yourself very low. Yeah. So you should not be standing. Correct. And you should not be standing next to a higher point, Correct. which can attract and from there current can flow through you. So you should not. Uh, even if it is raining heavily and if, if there is a lot of lightning in the sky, never stand below a tree. Never, never. Never stand because the trees get electrocuted. The Very. tree offers that path and sometimes, you know, the tree burns and even splits into two. Correct. It's very dangerous. And likewise, if there is an animal next to you, you know, which has long horns, if it's a buffalo or a cow which has, you know, very pointed yeah. horns or even a deer like this should never stand next to it because that poor animal would probably get electrocuted. Like if I'm yes. standing next to such an animal, any day I'll run away, you'll run. <laughs> yes. But I understand that they have these pointed ends, ends and, the, yeah. you know, pointed ends have a higher surface charge density. Mm-hmm. 
so that they basically attract more charge from the atmosphere and the chances of them getting this electric discharge through them is way higher and I might just suffer because of this. So don't run away, try to protect <laughs> the poor animal oh, okay. also. Wait, see if you can persuade it to sit or you take it away, you know, even just before you think that it's, uh, lightning is imminent. Yeah. And uh, try to see if there is some way by which you know even the animals okay, can yeah. be protected. So that is something very important. Yeah. And you know why it gets uh, there can even be fire because of lightning. I think that's a very common phenomena uh, in Australia. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Many of the forest fires there are caused because, because, of, because lightning. of lightning. Because the weather is so dry. Because of heavy winds, the clouds get friction and they develop these charges. Right. And the lightning strike may just fall on certain portion of the forest, okay. let's say, and that catches fire way quickly and leads to a whole. So, what is fire. the temperature of the lightning that comes? Is, there, is it a hot? Is it something unimaginable? Is it just electricity or it is heat as well? It is. It is obviously electricity always is accompanied with heat. But the temperature with this electric discharge is almost four times the temperature of the sun. Temperature that's, of the sun? That's unimaginable, yeah. My goodness. It is very high. So that means actually if it, they, somebody is electrocuted with a heavy current, you know, then it's instant death. It is, it is. I don't think there's any escape for that. And there is a misconception, you know, that... Uh, so there some time back in the news, some news channels showed it and I suppose it was there in the newspaper as well, that there was a person who, you know, when it was raining heavily and uh, okay. there was a lot of lightning, he had gone outside to attend a call on the cell phone. Okay. And he got electrocuted because the cell phone was on, he was using it. How is that even possible? So, yes. yes. That is a misconception. That is not possible. I guess this is, is a misnomer only in certain portions because the books also very directly say huh. that do not use the wired phones. I see. You can so very easily use the cellular ones, the mobile phones. So a cell phone will not attract uh, lightning, no. whether it is on or off, unless you are holding the cell phone high above your head, which nobody does. Then you are inviting it. Yes, when you are answering. So if, if a person is electrocuted, it he would have got electrocuted anyways. Yeah, correct. It's not because of the cell phone. With phone without phone. Yes. So all these deaths that we are uh, hearing about and reading about that I told you that happened in Bihar, it was not because they were using cell phones. It happened as it is because they were in upright positions, correct. standing. So they were the highest object all around that area. But we and must so understand in such situations, it is always safer to use a mobile phone than a wired landline and if you have to use at least sit down obviously don't, Makes sense. don't stand and use it and don't, it's not the cell phone that is doing it no, it's, no. it's the higher portion which is you know your ear is here so you're, you're holding the cell phone here Correct. and the head is higher so it is the obviously head it is, yes. attract through your head yes okay so these are some precautions that we must take the electric field created by a mobile in its vicinity is of the order of a few volts per meter only, say around 2 volts per meter, while the electric field on earth's surface due to a cloud at 1 kilometer above with potential of million volts is million volts per thousand meters. Hence a 1.5 meter tall man standing in a field during a storm would have created a difference of about 1500 volts, while his mobile would create an insignificant difference of 2 volts only. When we consider mobile phones, it is obvious that they are neither too long or too sharp and nobody holds it up over his head while speaking. The best precaution then to avoid a lightning strike is to avoid standing in a field. A lightning can be said to be a direct current, DC. In fact, it is an electrical impulse. It's a discharge that takes place from the cloud to the ground. If lightning originates from the lower portion of the clouds, then it will be negatively charged. And if it originates from the upper portion, then it will be positively charged because positive charges of the cloud accumulate there. Then what happens is, that it has to travel a larger distance to come to the earth and therefore it becomes 
more powerful, more devastating, more damaging. Whereas 90 to 95% of originate in the lower portion of the cloud and that is a little less damaging. A tree that was struck in Wales has been preserved and its height has been cut short to 50 feet and then it has been sculptured with a chainsaw it is stretching up towards the sky in the shape of a hand signifying that the tree wants to be saved.